I'm live. Good evening. Um, it says smile thumbnail, just in case you're thinking, what the hell's wrong with the thumbnail? Well, I'm like that. It says smile for a thumbnail, and I sit there and smile like a gorm was for about 10 minutes, and then I turn away and it takes the picture. I'm sure it does it on purpose. So um, there's nobody in yet, so I'm just explaining this to nobody at all. But, oh, get comfy in the chair. Hello. I'm sure somebody will pop in, won't they? If not, I'll sit and talk to myself. It'll be <coughs> fun. I'll talk to myself and Natalie will cough in the background. It'll be beautiful. <coughs> You really forced that one. You no, nearly vomited. She nearly vomited. That's a lie. So, I went back to the charity shop and the lady gave me more sacks of stuff at £7.50 a sack. And one of them was this sack here. Now, looking at it like this, I can see it doesn't look like so much of a bargain. You see what was in it? I'm so pleased. So pleased. So I'm going to line my sack up. Said Santa. I'm going to line my sack up for receiving. Can showing those because I'll keep them separate? Yeah, keep them separate. Do you want to show them? Or what okay. First up, and I think I've sold these without even starting. Adidas. These are this is shoes, by the way. Did I mention that? I've got six bags, and one of the bags is all shoes. I don't know if there's more than one of the other bags, but one of the bags is all shoes. There's nobody in I'm talking to myself. So uh, these are Adidas Neo. Um, I am not quite sure how many pairs of shoes there were in the bag, but I will try to track. So one pair. Hi Sue. Hi Donna. One pair, Adidas Neo, bear in mind, £7.50 for the entire sack, okay? Hello, Lex. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. Hello, Lobster Pot. Hi, Steve. Uh, what question would you like me to answer, Steve? I will take note of your question and answer it immediately, unlike you, who ignored me. Look, there's Nat. who just appeared on camera. <laughs> hi, Lolly. Hi, Lainey. Hi. I've said, I said hello, Lobster Pot. <coughs> thank, thank F, it's Friday, indeed. So, £7.50 for this entire sack. And I may not open the clothes sacks. I may just do the shoes and bore people with sensors with that. Hi, Heather. Hi, BCP. First out, Adidas Neo. Then when they marked these are completely free in the shop. There's no price stick on them. But they are in really good condition. And I think I've sold them to Natalie before I've even thought about selling them to anyone else. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Karen, who's still sitting on a beach somewhere, I think. You still on a beach, Karen? Life's a beach. Okay, Natalie's off out with the dogs. So there will be a weird cackling sound in a minute, which is, is Buddy. My dog? No, no, my channel hasn't seen your dog. Hang on. The weird cackling sound will be Buddy knowing he's going for a walk. It's crazy. You might, you'll probably be able to hear it from up here. Hi, Brian. <laughs> uh, Natalie wants to show you her new tattoo. You nearly punch me in the face then. then. Yeah. Okay, go in. The webcam is there. Now, there we go. This is Natalie's new tattoo that she had done the other night. I've had some work done on mine. It's heavily bruised. I bruise like a bitch. It's a sad case. Am I, I'm out of, am I out of focus again? I don't seem to be able to get on with this new webcam. It seems to... Yeah, but how do you... What do I need to do? Oh, you need to knock on the lens of your hand and turn it so you can see when you're focused. Sharper? Anyone? Any thoughts? BC Pieces, did you have your tattoo done by Sharpie? <laughs> it's meant to look like that, BCP. You're not funny. Hi, Fandria. Fandria's cleaning her house while listening. Hi, girly whirly. Don't touch it. Okay. They like your tattoo. I'm not Thank touching you. it. Don't touch the camera ever again. Yeah, my, mine's bruised to hell. Absolutely bruised. Look at all that bruise. All, all down here is bruising. Karen says she's coming home to the cold tomorrow. It hit 30 today. Well, lucky you because it hit minus three here or something like that. Yeah, uh, Lainey says your tattoo is lovely and her daughter wants an outline of our dog's face. Oh, her dog's face. Not our dog's face. That would be weird. <laughs> her dog's face. Her dog's face, not ours. Her dog's face, not ours. Although our dog is a beautiful dog. A outline of our dog? Hi, Phoebes. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Suzanne. And hi, Karen. Karen says, sorry, I fell asleep. How long have you been on? About 20, about three minutes and 51 seconds, to be precise. So you haven't missed much. Brian says it's snowing stroke sleeting there. It's just cold here, cold and a bit grey. Um, and yeah, stop doing bunny ears behind me. Go and take the dogs out. What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> Go away, you oddity. So, first out of the bag, £7.50 all in. Remember, we're going to keep track of how many pairs I've got because I don't know how much I've paid for a pair. Hi, Sas Guest. <laughs> Lex says, I fancied getting the twins from The Shining soon. Meant to be saving for Amsterdam in two weeks. You have to wait and have tattoos later. Tattoos are for life. Amsterdam is just for Christmas. Okay, so next up, a bit of an odd one for me. Ballroom shoes. Never sold ballroom shoes. And I don't think I'll get more than 10 or 12 quid. But the reason I, I didn't even know they were ballroom shoes, I just thought they were fugly shoes. And then they've got, they've got suede bottoms, mustard coloured suede bottoms, which apparently ballroom shoes have. There we go. So ballroom shoes, that's the second pair out. BCP, you're not even funny apart from probably facially 
I am liking the bags now, Catherine. Hi, Deb. Um, hi, Sophia. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. It's absolutely not deliberate. I never ignore anyone deliberately without telling them first. Karen says she does well with tap shoes. These are not boring. These are not tap boring, but, you know, dance shoes. <laughs> Brian thought I called them bowling shoes. Yes, in the UK, Brian, bowling shoes are a little different to the ones that you have in the US. <laughs> Can you imagine us all prancing up and down the lanes in those? <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> Sars guest can't stay. She's going to catch up later. See you, Sars guest. Hi, Lil and Alf. So, two pairs so far out of my sack. One ballroom, one Adidas. Third pair. And bear in mind, the pairs are all a bit balanced. So, third pair. M&S collection. Tomato patent leather slingbacks. Worn once, if at all. No markings on the heels at all. Shop had them marked out as £7. Please with those. Next up, Clark's again. Clark's Software, kitten heels again. Barely worn, if at all. Beautiful condition, not a single mark on the heels. Beautiful. That's four pairs. I've forgotten I was supposed to be keeping flipping, keeping, keeping a track of how many pairs. If somebody wants to work out how much they think I've made based on what they think they would sell them for, that'd be interesting as well, wouldn't it? And then I can find out whether I would sell them or what you would sell them. Clark's, no, not Clark's, sorry, foot glove. That's MS, isn't it? MS, MS foot glove. Fucking ugly shoes, man. They were thirty nine fifty when they were new. That is an ugly shoe. That is an ugly shoe. And I would hesitate. I would. I would say possibly unworn again. Maybe worn once. So that's five pairs. Dun dun dun. Brian, I have no idea what you're talking about. Lex says, "Oh, a sale." Cheers, Carly. You're welcome. I didn't want any sales. I don't sell stuff. I just buy it. Hang on, my, my sack's falling over. I'm losing control of my sack. Okay. These ones, I nearly wet my pants. I nearly wet my pants. These are Clark's. Can you tell what it is yet? I've got to stop doing Rolf Harris. <laughs> Clark's all Achille. Clark's all Achille shoes in worn once condition. Clark's. All Achille shoes, worn once. Did I mention they were Clark's and they were all Achille and they've probably worn once? Did I mention that? Hi, Sib. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Such a happy sack. Uh, these are um, only divided H&M, but they're unworn, ankle oggy style boots. That's another pair. These delightful little gold numbers. These are Carvela Kurt Geiger. Kurt, Kurt Geiger shoes. Grubby sole. I've never cleaned a sole, and yet I know you guys do. I don't clean them just out of sheer laziness. Maybe I'll start. Maybe I'll start. But yeah, Carvela Kurt Geiger. That's another pair. We're on eight pairs so far. And Steve says, yeah, Rolf Harris isn't an impression anyone should be doing anymore. <laughs> I've always done Rolf Harris. Can you tell what it is yet? And I've really got to stop. Okay, I've got like two odd shoes behind me that hopefully the pair's here. I have found in the bag several that don't seem to have a pair. I'm wondering if there's either another bag here somewhere that's got the matching pairs in or whether I've left, left them behind at the shop. Not sure, not sure. It'd be a shame if I have because they're good brands. But Okay, so this one, so far this is a single shoe. We'll pop that one there for now. Uh, these ones are Heavenly Souls. I mean, they're horrible. That's a horrible, horrible shoe. It's a comfort shoe for ladies requiring a comfortable shoe. And that's what that is, a comfort shoe. People buy them. They shouldn't, but they do. Lex says she's still got a Rolf's Cartoon Club badge. I hope you don't have to go and get it in person, love. Uh, these ones, again, happy, happy shoes. Ugly as hell. These are Clark's Unstructured. I've been in the in the in the past that I've been able to get thirty to forty quid for a pair of unstructured. Don't know whether these ones are a thirty to forty pound pair, but oh my god! Again, those are unworn. Look at those; they are completely unworn. Beautiful, so excited. I mean, not beautiful, but beautiful money. There's the other Adidas. I don't know what I did with the front. It's over there on the bed. Uh, point shoes. Really odd point shoes. I, I, I've never. Never, I've never even seen these are glittery point shoes. Anybody do ballet? Lex, question Carla, where the F are you going to put all this? I do not know. 
I do not have an answer. I am a bit worried. But yeah, Freed Studios, which is a well-known uh, dance shoes, and they are glittery point shoes. They look like instruments of torture, but then have you seen ballet dancers' feet? Ballet dancers have the, the most terrible feet. It literally destroys your feet. So that's another pair. Mark them off. Oh, I can't get them back in the bag. I'll put them back in the bag later. Uh, these are Nine West. They're a very, very dark bluey green, maybe a really dark teal suede shaboot, shaboot thing. Nine West. Oh. Never worn, by the way, completely unworn. Very exciting. This delightful number, these are trotters. I've had trotters before. They're a US brand. And I've had them before. I think they sell particularly well, but they're unworn again. Brand new trotters. Such a such a delightful name, isn't it? Trotters. Little Nuff says stole them in Natalie's bedroom. If you'd seen Little Natalie's bedroom, Little Nuff, you would not be suggesting that. You really would not. It's an impassable zone. I feel like there must be another bag with some shoes in because I've got lots of, like, at least these four or five singles. And she wouldn't have given me singles, so... These are a band called The Flex. Now, I've never heard of them, but a pair of, I haven't had a quick look, a pair of brand new Flex flats, Bally flats, sells at £65. So Lord knows what they charge for these. 44 apparently. So they don't charge as much for it. It's got the original price. But again, unworn, unworn Flex patent heel shoes. And they look quite large, don't they? Seven. Size seven. Tick that one off. Yeah, Donna says trotters is an awful name for William for women's shoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sort me sack out. Uh, these are new look, kind of those heeled gladiatory lace up number things. Can't remember what they're called, but um, yeah, new look. And again, unworn, brand new. Who gets a sack of brand? This is you know this is a good this is a good sack. Happy with the satin. These are Bowden. Pair of Bowden satin teeny weeny heel. I mean, they look like the most uncomfortable shoe you've ever seen in your life, don't they? Look at that. That, that that's that's a murder shoe, that is. That's the kind of shoe going, God, God, to get these damn shoes off. But they're Bowden. And then these are Vandal. I know Caroline does okay with Vandals. I don't think I've ever had them. They're kind of Vandal, kind of a moccasin. Moccasin low heel. What do they say? Iron mask inside. It says not iron mask as in the Iron Man. Hi, that doctor. Sorry, I'm late, miss. I have a note from my mum. I asked my mum once if she would write me a note to get out of PE, and she gave me a note, and she did not tell me what she put in it, and she sealed it in an envelope. And when I took it to school, it said something along the lines of, "Dear PE teacher, my daughter has asked me this to write this note, so she won't have to do PE, but there's nothing wrong with her." And the PE teacher made me run around the gym twenty times. My mother's a bitch. <laughs> Van Dahl, not Vandal. <laughs> yeah, Phoebe says they're very expensive. I'm going to sneeze. I can feel a sneeze coming. You've had warning. Advance warning that I will sneeze. And then these five are all odd. So let's just hope. How many was that? Somebody bless me, for God's sake. Hi, Malcolm. Oh. So I've got two odd hotters, which is annoying, because hotter is a brand I always sell. Uh, an odd J, JR collection. I don't know what JR collection is, so I've got itchy nose now. I have to go and find a bit of loo roll. An odd new look heel. And an odd Clark's of all things. Clark's narrative, an odd one of those. That's four, four, five odd shoes. I've got six sacks of stuff all together, so perhaps they're in the other sacks. Shall I open them? How, I don't know. How, are you people busy? I must blow my nose. Excuse me. Do you people want to go away? Shall I go away? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. This is proper quality content. <coughs> oh. I said, hello, I was expecting to close when it's just sneezing. I've been missold. <laughs> and the Sib says, if you've got any other shoes to show us that aren't shoes. Okay, if, if you guys want me to open the sacks, I will. I, I mean, I haven't got anywhere to go and be. I did not shoot some snots out at you. That did not happen. And they're very like, they're like sneezings. 
So that was 17 pairs of shoes, not counting the five odd ones for £7.50. Can anybody do quick maths while I sort this sack out? Oh. I'll move my sack, I'll be back. None of these feel like they've got shoes in. None of these feel like they've got shoes in. I wonder if there should have been another bag. I'm losing my trousers now. Betsy says, yes, open the other bag. There's another five bags, love. <laughs> and Sib said, he catches a cold because he may be annoyed. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Somebody's saying hi, Ryan. I can't see Ryan, but I'm sure he's there. Hi, Josh. Josh says, love how all the other sacks are rammed into the area behind you. <laughs> these, these are not rammed. I'll have you know these are carefully stored. I have divided the items into ten piles, into ten, into piles of ten, bagged them in tens, and then the idea is that I have to pull them out and I have to list all ten before I can do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Mel says... I've done the sums, they're each really cheap per pair. <laughs> it's only 44p a pair I've paid for those shoes. Ka-ching. Uh, Kelly, yes, these are, I've got I've got another six bags at £7.50 a bag again today, and one of them was shoes. So, um, yeah, cracking on. I've got enough stock to get me through the winter, I think. The old shoes I need to sell to people with one leg. I wonder if you can sell single shoes. People with one leg must still need a shoe, mustn't they? They must get really annoyed by them to buy a pair. Okay, in the bag. Oh, don't tell me it's children. That's children's. I don't like children. It's monsoon, but it's still children's. Monsoon baby dress. Blech. Uh, Beauty and Rich. Who are they? Have you ever heard of Beauty and Rich? It's still got its tag on. Anyone? Beauty and Rich? It's got a very nice tag. Just realise you can't see because I'm looking at map. It's a Beauty and Rich shirt. I've never heard of them. Tell me if you shop there and it costs a million quid for everything. Tap Doctor says 22p. Uh, Josh, how many bags in total have I had? Probably about 20 sacks now, I think. Yeah, I'm going to start selling them to you, Josh. Hi, Ginger Witch. That's too small for little Lexi, that dress. Big Lexi. Um, kimchi blue, I've heard of them. Kimchi blue dress. She did say to me, Some of this is summer, do you still want it? And I was like, £7.50 a sack, yes, I do. Beauty Rich is an okay brand, not a fast seller. I've never heard of it, Heather. Heather knows everything. Hi, Shelster. Um, this is a completely unbranded t shirt from Nowhere Shop. It was made in Canada where they don't put any names in their clothing. Weekenders.com, never heard of them. Um, are the things selling from the sacks? I've begun to list them, Catherine. And I, did, I, we may remember the sacks I opened last week. There was a Peruvian connection jumper in there. I listed that, sold that for fifty-five pound. Bear in mind, the six sacks cost me forty-five pound in total. Everything that now sells out of those six sacks is profit. Every single item. So, yeah. Josh says I need the stocks. So if you get swamped, let me know. Happy to work something out. Good. It's, it, I don't want to stop. I don't want to say no. If she rings me and says, do you want some sacks? I don't want to say no because I don't want to cut this off. This is plainly a good thing. But there is a chance that I will get swamped. So I'm quite happy to share that booty with you, uh, Josh. Quite happy. And Malcolm says, my missus gets... Sorry, it moved. <laughs> my missus gets a bag of around 40 items every one week or two weeks. But around 30 are okay for listing. Do you manage to get the sacks listed before you get the next lot? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> And yeah, tap doctor, you can put your shoes back on now. No more maths. 17 pairs divided by 750 is, is I don't know. You can argue about the maths between yourselves. I did not have a massive retro video game haul, Brian. That was you. That was you, not me. I was very jealous. These are fat faced, by the way. I, th I don't know if they're men's or ladies. I think they're ladies because I don't think men would wear this. They're fat faced kind of harem style. So they're men's, aren't they? they're ladies, aren't they? PTP says Carla says she's happy to share her booty. Always. Very generous person. Hi, Crispy. Hi, Carrie. Uh, another I know, item brand new with its tags. 
no idea where it's set. Rouge is one of those funny Chinese or, or Asian kind of brands. Not that Chinese people are funny or whatever, but it's a 6XL. In my experience, a 6XL in an Asian brand is normally about an 8. <laughs> That's quite large. That might fit me. It's fun. It, I do find it funny what Asian people think of as big, though. It always always makes me giggle when you if you order something from that Rose Gal or Wish or whatever and you order a 4XL and when it comes it's like that and you're like, oh bless. Uh t-shirt from John Rosher. Rosher, John Rosher. What's this about crispy having a shop? What have I missed? Un at. Un summer at. It does not fit my Grand Day Ed. Mon chapeau est très petit et mon... What's the French for head? Mon chapeau est très petit et ma head est très grande. I can't remember the French for head. Brian says he's a 17XL in Chinese brands. <laughs> and Mel says she takes them off my hands, but I've seen her eBay pit and it can take no more. It just needs organising. Your pit just needs moving around. <laughs> this is it is a unfrock. I wonder if that might be vintage. Look at that odd label. Might be a vintage frock. Would certainly explain why it's not very nice and why it feels horrible. Because materials were different back in the day. Shall I keep the silly hat on? I'll keep the silly hat on. Well, says I have to wear my edited hats because my head it is a giant head. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kopf is German for head, isn't it? Mein Kopf ist grand. Still grand in German? Can't remember. Sib says that's not vintage, just looks cheap. Maybe. Chris is at a Harry Potter thing tonight. Nomads. I've heard of nomads. I can't remember if it's any good or not, but I've heard of it. Heather will know. Heather knows everything. Heather is très clever. Forgotten the French for clever as well. Lex, Lex came here at the weekend and used up all my French. A Yumi top, Yumi butterfly print top. Not very excited about this sack so far, but this it's not crap. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't, I'm not going, oh, I love that. And next, deeply unpleasant floral skirt number. I will not be short of summer stock, will I? Oh, don't, Brian. Brian just said in the US that hat would be guaranteed to have lice and probably bed bugs. No, it's a perfectly clean hat. Nomads is a good hippie festival pagan brand. Oh, excellent. I can put Lagan Look Hippie Festival Boho Chic into it and keep Sib happy. Uh, this is a no name dress. And I don't like it. So I'm folding it back up. Teaser answers the hat looks great on me. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, just? Anybody tuning in now? Why is Papa Tick wearing a hat? Uh, Roman Originals, they've got more expensive recently, haven't they, Roman Originals? They used to be cheap, shitty market brand, and now they've got a couple of shops and they think they're it. Well, this is nice. This is silk. Feels lovely. It is, for, again, from the no-name shop. Why have these things not got labels in? But it's nice and silky because it's silk. It's a little silk top. You've definitely got that on copy and paste, Sib. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, washer, don't John Washer again? He gets in everywhere. Him. He, he also doesn't know where to put his sleeves and his zips to so make sense. Hang on, let's get there. We go. It goes like that. Washer, John Washer. Here's my thumbnail. <laughs> this hat looks. Oh, it brings out the blue of my eyes. C'est un bon chapeau. Merci. You are too kind. Uh, something stretchy in a sportswear kind of thing. Workout wear. I sold a bundle of workout wear from the other bags. I just literally bundled it up and sold it. It was all leggings and tops and sold the lot. <laughs> uh, workout wear again, I think, unless they're just unpleasant trousers. Oh, no, it's just unpleasant trousers. Donathus says I don't even know what half those keywords are. Bullshit is what they are. Hi, Chelsea. <laughs> Oh, it's not an unhappy. Bear in mind, this sack again, £7.50. Everything so far, everything you're seeing, £7.50 the lot, and it's still coming. These are the sacks that keep on giving. 
papaya, that is matalan. And and dun 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 MS Woman in the oh kind of frilly cotton number. The piles are going wrong. <laughs> Brian says Sib told me to list my Super Nintendo lot as lager. Look, it hasn't helped much. <laughs> Roughly how much bundling percentage wise? Uh, very little, really, Karen. Most of it I I think is worth selling individually. I've at the other sacks I did I've done four bundles uh, at 10 quid a shot and, and put those on. Oh, Malcolm's asking a similar question. With the, with the items that are cheap and nasty, do you list on auction or do you just not bother and rag with the unsaleables? I haven't had any unsaleables. I should explain, Malcolm, if you haven't watched before. These are shop floor items. They're not unsaleable shop items, uh, unsaleable stock items. So I said to the lady, I don't want the stuff. You know, they, they sort through, they decide what they can sell in their shop. I don't want the stuff that she can't sell in her shop because it's shit. I want the stuff that you've tried to sell in your shop and then it hasn't sold. And normally what they do is send that on to another shop. But I talked to the lady and she was quite happy to sell it to me in sacks instead. I'm going to take the hat off. I look silly in the hat. And it's quite hot in there. So this is stuff that she's already deemed perfectly good for the shop floor. So there is no rags. You know what I mean? There's nothing with holes in. There's nothing that, that isn't, isn't a good item. There's just stuff that isn't a strong brand for me. And the strong brands, what I'm doing with those is bundling and selling them as bundles for resellers I, I may sell some on facebook although i haven't yet i've been selling them through ebay that was a very long-winded explanation this is boohoo i love boohoo they think they think that's a 14 boohoo nearly made natalie suicidal back when she was a teenager back when she was about 14 or 15 herself she thought she was fat she wasn't fat she was about a size 14 but you know she thought she was massive and we ordered her a party dress from boohoo to go to the prom or something like that and ordered it in a large and when it arrived it was about a six and of course what that does to a teenage girl's confidence is makes them think that they are oh, i'm even too bloody fat for a large look at this i'm four times bigger than a large yeah it's not a backdoor deal it goes through the till brian goes through the till she rings it in through the till she says to me six sacks 45 pound and then she rings it in through the till nothing dodgy here at all stop maligning my character for some reason, Sib is going, Alan, 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 Alan. <laughs> and yes, Sue, she knows I'm a reseller, yeah. She knows what I'm doing with it. It's all completely above board. Completely bona fide, eh, as they say on the Victoria. Completely fade bono. Brooks Brothers. I feel like I've heard of Brooks Brothers. Heather's still here. Heather knows stuff. It says it's a size eight, which makes it the ladies. The ladies, Brooks Brothers. Don't they, don't they do car rentals or something, Brooks, Brooks Brothers? <laughs> Alan! <laughs> I can't stop Alaning now. <laughs> now I've started. Brooks Brothers is a US brand. Thank you. Hi, Scooby Shaggy. Oh, oh, God. If anybody else has come in, by the way, and I've missed them, I'm sorry. It's not deliberate. Well, it says that's no fun. I like my merch hot. I don't want to get raided by the police for having sacks of clothes in me. So that's another M&S woman t-shirt. That M&S woman, that's the kind of thing I will probably sell in a bundle because I just don't think it's a strong enough brand to bother listing it. But if I'd run out of stock, I'd feel differently. DKNY, Donna Karen, New York. Malcolm. Uh, Mrs. had stuff from the sale rail in her bag, but has had Ted Baker shirt with a torn button, a marked dress and a couple of other bits. I guess our charity shop is lower class and will sell anything. This, I have to say, not that I'm dissing your charity shop or anybody else's, but this particular one, I've, I've mentioned it before, it's in a really nice little area. There's only two charity shops there, and they are both absolutely rammed with quality labels. These are the charity shops that I go in and cry because I can't afford to buy the stuff at the prices they want for it because there's not enough margin left in it, but I can afford it if the lady will sell it to me in sacks. So, yeah. Brian says Brooks Brothers is nice. I wear a lot of it when I have to go to meetings and such. It's an expensive band soon to fail here. This is a size eight, Brian. Will it fit you? Ladies size eight? Although if it's an American, maybe it's bigger. I don't know. Because your, your sizing is different. Than this is Boohoo again, brand new with its tags. It's bloody horrible. I mean, why would you want a flesh-coloured dress? Just look naked, won't you? 
Marco says, I live on the Isle of Wight, so not posh here. Everywhere has a little bit of posher area than others, though, doesn't it? I mean, there must be a bit on the Isle of Wight that, that where the people who've got a little bit more money live. Must have, no, I mean, I've never been. I've, I've been to the Isle of Wight once when I was a child. Staring at stars. There's a nice brand. You don't see that one very often. Lex says, I'm so going to that charity shop next time I'm down, Carla. Lex, I will take you. Like I said, the prices are a bit eek. But um, for people who are prepared to spend a bit more. <laughs> Ryan, perhaps I wear mostly moomoos, so I'd need to check my form-fitting lady clothes size. Fair enough, mate. I can just see you in your moomoo as well, yeah. <laughs> Have I missed anything exciting? Has anybody said anything wonderful? Bridget, Lex says, Bridget does three square feet of posh, and you're not allowed in it, are you, Bridget? I am Lex. Men's autograph shirt. That's quite nice. Quite like that. Don't normally sell men's shirts, but I quite like that one, so I probably will. It's easier to list it if you like it. Uh. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Sorry, I've just realised that I'm reading stuff. And, and Tap Doctor says, Brooks, but this is a funeral director closing in me. A closure would be seen dead in. <laughs> That's Gap, plain Gap white shirt, very creased and crumpled. One of the drawbacks of sacks, of course, is that it needs a touch of ironing, and I don't do a touch of ironing. Uh, that's sportswear again. That's a Nike, Nike Fit Dry XX Small. Bless them at Nike. I was going to say use XX Small, but the kind of people who do exercise, aren't they? That's the answer to that. And that one is Kin by John Lewis, plain. Plain black tea, Natalie might end up with that because she was after a plain black tea for something the other day. She uses them, uses them, she wears them for her dance recitals and stuff. Quite often they have like stage blacks. Right, let's see if I can get this in. Ugh. So no odd shoes in this sack. I feel like I've got five odd shoes and I'm never going to find their, their partners. That's distressing to me. It's making me want to weep. Plus, it's the ladies' day off tomorrow, so I can't pop in tomorrow and go, by the way, have you got the other five? Lex says, Bridge End is amazing. We've got a pub and a job centre and a crack down all on the same street. Well, it's, it's handy, isn't it, to keep things near each other. Do you want another sack? It's up to you guys. I don't have to open another sack if you don't want me to, if anybody's falling asleep. So it says, Brian McCarley, you should be proud of your piles. Where are you keeping them? <laughs> the usual place. So <laughs> I don't know is the answer. I mean, previous piles have been bagged into tens, as I was saying earlier on, and put in there. There is no further room in there. So, yeah, I do not know the answer. Okay, people say more sacks. More sacks it will be. Hi, Donna. Oh, Rebecca, I didn't see you come in. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, Mandy, Mandy's in. When am I going to stay with Lex? Don't know. She hasn't invited me. Don't think she liked me. Just saying. Hashtag just saying. Wasn't invited. Big... Massive, scarfy, ponchoy, drapey. What, what do you call these things? One of these big Sherlock Holmes capey, scarfy things. Look. What with this and my hat. I do somewhat look like a mental lady detective, don't I? A bit like Vera. Yeah, Sue says, at least if I get some snowed in, I'll have stock to list. Not going to run out of stock, am I? This, I quite like this. It's not my style. I'm not a capey kind of person, but I quite like it. And it will at least it'll be easy to pack. It just folds up into a square. <sighs> okay, co-wrap blanket thingy. Is that what I'm going to call it? Co-wrap blanket thingy. Cape, shawl. Donna says, I've only been to Wales twice. Once as a kid, I went to Butlins and got scabies. <laughs> and Lex says, I can come, but there's no car boot and the shops are poo. Well, perhaps you better come here again where the car boot is brilliant. You, do, you did all right out of that car boot, haven't you, Lex? Tell people what you've been flogging. Tell them how well you've done. Yeah, some agreements on capes and shawls and pashminas, yeah. Something for a guide camp. Uh, Peruna. Needle cord, which is this season's fabric again, by the way, ladies. Needle cord is in. Needle cord green jacket. Oh, oh something in pleather. It is a next pleather jacket. At least I think it's pleather. It doesn't feel like it's ever been on an animal. Oh, God, no, it's leather. It's it's 100% leather. I beg your pardon, Mr. Cow, for maligning your cowness. You are actually leather. Next leather jacket. 
Mark has got the wrong cat. The girls ready for the Halloween disco. They missed it. it was yesterday, surely. Lexus car boot ace made sixty pound back already from what I bought. Sarcastic strawberry. Hello. And Brian says me and Lex will go there to thrift shop heaven. Yeah, we won't be able to afford the luggage to bring it back. Did you see how much Lex bought from Bristol? Can you imagine what she's going to be like if she goes to the US? She's never going to be able to ship her stuff home. Okay, so again, £7.50 sack. Already I've got out a leather coat. Next, blazer. Don't like that. Don't like it at all. I like it not. I like it not at all. I don't like it one little bit. I don't like this either. Top shop embroidered denim shirt. Somebody will like it, just not me. Somebody will love it. Just have to stay there until it sells through. <laughs> well, how did she get it back, Lex? She looked like a flipping... I, I remembered afterwards what she reminded me about. I said that she looked like one of those Korean motorbike people with it all piled on, but it wasn't that. She reminded me of, the, you know, the... Um, you know the David Bowie film Labyrinth? She reminded me of the little troll collector thing in there that goes around collecting all the stuff and piling it in sacks on their back. That's what she looked like going home on the train. Only prettier. M and Co. Cardigan. Prettier. I did say prettier. <laughs> but just, you know, piled up with bags and things. <laughs> Uh, I'd be proud to be in a David Bowie film. Gallery, never heard of gallery. Pinstripe kind of. Don't know what the freaking flick it is. Don't know what the pinstripe type kind of top. Yes, Lex. Lex knows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she knows what she took it, took it in good faith. She knows what I mean. <laughs> Lex the tap troll. Not only has she got a trolley at home, but I offered her a trolley, Claire. She wouldn't have it. She would not have the trolley. Because I've got two trolleys, so one spare. I was like, you can take my spare trolley home. She wouldn't have it. ASOS. ASOS Stripey Yumper. Oh, hot meal, the shoes. I don't think I'm finding them, though. Five odd shoes. And they're all good brands. I think that's more frustrating. It wouldn't matter on five odd shoes if they were all Georgia Asda. Uh, Oasis. Doesn't look like either of the members of Oasis that I remember, but it's an Oasis cardigan. Kath Palmer says, I've been lurking and reading all the back chat. There's quite a lot of back chat. <laughs> too cool for a trolley. <laughs> she's not too cool for a trolley. Maybe she just didn't like my purple floral trolley. Maybe that was what upset her. Oh, this feels horrible. M&S Collection. What were you thinking of M&S? This has got this blue patterny stuff. It's like an encrusted paint. If I, it's it's gen, gen, genuinely not a nice thing. Genuinely not a nice thing. Swamp Picker says, when Peter, David and Bianca show up, it will be a party. I'm not entirely sure. I follow that. Yeah. Oh, Peter. Peter as in Peter. Peter Ray. Dave, if you mean David M, he doesn't come in. He doesn't come and see me. And Bianca only comes in if Lex is here, if it's the same Bianca. I've noticed there's no Dave by Glamour. What's she doing today? Oh, there's Peter. <laughs> See, Peter's in. Uh, on a Milburn for Edinburgh Woolen Mill? You just wouldn't, would you? Look at that. You, you guys can't get the colour properly, I don't think. It's not very nice. I don't like it. But don't tell that to the customers. Tell the customers it's lovely. That's my policy. BHS, they've gone. BHS no longer with us. Dave by Glamour is Death by Glamour. We've changed your name. Well, I say we. Lex has changed your name. Yeah, itchy. Unpleasant. Yeah. Amaryllis. Anyone? Amaryllis? I mean, I know it's a flower, but it's not a brand I've heard of. That feels like it might be linen blend. It is. 25% linen, 75% acrylic. Knows me fabrics, see? I knows me fabrics. I know bugger all else, but I knows me fabrics. Oh, Lord. Mind you, I haven't said that. I didn't know leather, so maybe you shouldn't listen to me. Uh, M&S Woman again. Just a plain navy V-neck. Worn by Girl Guiders kind of jumper. Not that there's anything wrong with Girl Guiders, but maybe jumpers always remind me of them. And 
Essential Collection made in Morocco. I don't know what that's where that where essential. Don't like it. Not this is not an exciting sack. Are we excited? I'm not excited by this sack. I'm very excited by my shoes. Very excited. Uh, Strazzi, Strazzi. Italiano, Italiano Giampero. Giampero, not an Italiano word. Sad sack indeed. Sib says, can you switch it up a bit and start whispering just for giggles? It's not for giggles, it's because you get excited. Uh, and this is Principles Bendelisi. Principles Bendelisi Petite. Don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of jumpery here. And then chiffon -y here. Bendelisi. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I think um Kath and Kath and Karen have a fight. There we go. It's gonna be a punch up in the chat between Kath Palmer and Karen Fisher. Now I've seen both of them and I don't know which to bet on. <sighs> Kath Palmer looks like she could probably take Karen in a fight, but Karen's got one of those innocent faces. Karen's got one of those innocent faces that looks like she doesn't fight, and I have fallen foul of that kind of person before. So, I don't know. I don't know who to put my 10p on for this fight. I misread that completely, Karen. Completely. I'm not reading it out, but I misread it completely. Lexa saying, to a mal sack. We, oui, we. Oui. Says a merd sack. That's all right. It's not quite a merd sack. Ne pas magnifique sack. Right. Another sack or not another sack? I was undoing knots without asking. Do we want another sack? What if I tell you that the other sack has another hat? This is an accessorised hat. It's very similar to my actual hat that I wear on holidays. It's up there. Although my actual hat is not quite as badly, badly looked after as this one. This is not a happy hat. Not a happy hat. I really need a wee. You don't put baby in a corner. Which film? Dirty Dancing. Are you doing a quiz? Nobody puts baby in a corner. Chelsea Rooney is listening while measuring her cashmere. Raggy dolls. Raggy dolls. We're not singing raggy dolls again. I sang that last week for you. Gap. White blues. I need a wee. This is just like last week when I needed a wee. Laura Ashley. Vintage Laura Ashley. That's, I think, a 90s label looking at that one. I will check, but I think that's 90s. Laura Ashley chiffon number. This is definitely summer. She did say some of it was summer. Oh, look. A dungaree. Well, two dungarees to be precise. An Asian dungaree. Dungaree dress. Dungaree dresses were good, weren't they? I really need a wee. Oh, I really need a wee. That's come on quite suddenly and become quite urgent. Natalie? You go wee for me. She's downstairs. I was going to get her to come and talk to you. I might have to shake my hands, Lex, in a minute. <laughs> okay, that's got no um, no name in it. Oh, I need a wee. See, believe it or not, this helps me not need a wee. I know it looks crazy, but it helps. I may have to go. I may wet myself on the chair. Oh, it's gone there. It's passed a bit. Petite country casuals. It's the kind of thing my mother would wear, actually. It's a size large. It might fit my mother. It might. She's not as big. Oh, I like this. I don't even know what it is, but it feels lovely. Oh, oh, it's upside down, inside out, back to front and, and around the bend. Oh, it's a frock. It's monsoon. That's why it feels nice. Look at that. You can't get the full niceness of these colours, but they're really jewel-like. It's got a, a crepey pleated bit. It's a beautiful dress. That's a stunner of a dress. I love that. The colours are so nice. You can't see it. Ha ha. I should get a better webcam. Rebecca says, I'm babysitting my hamsters and they're munching mealworms. I don't know hamsters at mealworms. I thought hamsters were vegetarians. Have you, like, carnivored your hamster? Karen's dog came running in when I shouted, Natalie, your dog doesn't know its name. Oh, a mustard thing. M&S collection. Some of the unpleasant things in these bags have been M&S collection, haven't they? They've obviously got a bit sidetracked over the last couple of seasons and don't know what they're doing anymore. Brian, your hamsters do not eat ham. Tag. Heather. 
Help of a label queen. What do we think of tag? Do I know of tag? It's a skirt. I don't like it. It feels horrible. See, previously, previously on Friends, previously I would have assumed that if it feels nasty material, then it's a cheap brand, but I've discovered that some of the posh brands use horrible material as well. Marigold says, I love the dress. What size is it? Oh, I don't know, Marigold, but I will endeavour to discover. It is a size eight. If you are a slimline person, Marigold, let me know. It is a size eight. No, you haven't heard of that brand either. Uh, that's next. I quite like that. That's unusual. Unusual little top. Yeah, the monsoon one, yeah, it's an eight. Coming out in iron falls now. Uh scarf from oh what's that hem and edge never heard of hem and edge quite like that scarf though i do get a bit more scarfy in the winter it's not a warm scarf it's only a cotton one but i get a bit more scarfy come winter mel says oh my goodness i've just had a short preview of ads's next comedy short i can't wait although there is a feeling of trepidation too marigold's a 12 sorry marigold like I'll, I'll put a panel in for you Tags about a tenner, Karin. Thank you for looking. I won't get too excited about that then. Oh, this is a pyjama top with an edge on it and it says sweet dreams. Rebecca, Rebecca says hamsters are not veggies. Are they really not? I mean, I'm not I'm not arguing with you because they're your hamsters and you know, but I always thought they were. Carnivorous little person. That, expl that would explain why Natalie's used to bite me. It's probably trying to eat me. Carnivorous little shitbags. Oh, See, that looks like it ought to be something, doesn't it? That looks like a rather nice little brand. It's Antibes Blanc. Antibes Blanc. It's obviously a French brand. Heather, any uh, any thoughts? Heather, Heather is literally becoming my reference library. And it's a kind of a tent style dress thing. Antibes Blanc. Yeah, Lex says Bianca's hamsters ate each other to death. Well, that would seem to imply that they're not vegetarians as well, wouldn't it? Unfortunate situation. Uh, Utam London. Thai roby dress type thingy. I think, I presume it's just a Thai wrap because it doesn't seem to have any buttons. And that Oh, it's a wrap dress. It's a wrap dress. That makes more sense. It's smaller than I thought it was, and it's a wrap dress. I was going to say you'd be open to the open to the elements, and that that would not do at all. Far too exposed. Pull out some other armfuls. About ten pound. What for the anti anti block dress? I'm disappointed. I thought I was going to make my millions. Hugo Boss shirt. Well, my shoes were a very happy sack, and these are all fine. They're just not exciting sacks. Uh, this is brand new. Julipa. I've heard of Julipa. I'm sure I have. I haven't sold it before, but it's brand new with its tags. It's a Julipa skirt. It's, I don't like it. Somebody will love it. Somebody will love it. There's the other half of the pyjamas, I think. Yes, that's the other half of the pyjamas. They're a size eight. They might come in very handy, actually. Not for me, because plainly, neither of my legs is even a size eight, let alone the rest of me. People are arguing now. Question, what was that kid's TV show featuring a guy who had to look after the school hamster? 80s or early 90s? It's not ringing a bell. It's not ringing a bell. Oh, Cass says you need to move your camera or your chair. We're not seeing any of the items, just you and your arms waving about. Sorry, Cass. <laughs> Let's see if this is better. Is this better? Sorry. <laughs> Somebody should have said sooner. <laughs> oh dear, BCP says, I went to a market once at Newcastle Quayside in the early 80s. There were three and a half hamsters in a cage. The half one, front half only, been clearly nibbled up by those. Oh bless. Poor little soul. And Sib's really struggling to remember the, um, the hamster. Karen's suggesting Johnny Briggs. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, this is Bowden. The sack got happier when I found some Bowden, Bowden dress. Again, summer, but there will be another summer, even though it doesn't feel like it now. 
And another Bowden. The sack got happier when I found the Bowden. And Kath says that's better, she can see now. That's good. Sorry, Kath. Somebody should have said sooner. Look at Kath, you're the only one in the chat with any say either that or nobody else is actually watching and nobody cares. <laughs> and white stuff. So nearly at the end of that sack, two Bowdens and a white stuff came out. That that pleased me. I don't like it, but it pleases me. I mean, I like that I've got it. I don't like the stuff. I know what I'm on about. And then last one out of the sack is bum, bum, bum. no name shop, no label in it. Oh, Karen says she likes this. Karen, sorry, says she likes the second Bowden. Bear with, bear with, bear with. This one, Karen, is this the one? It says doing boff sack. What's boff, Lex? We're, we're going with the eight again. It's an eight regular, Karen. Are you an eight, love? Bear in mind you've just been on holiday for a week. If you've come back as an eight, I'll be surprised, but I'm not, you know, I'm not dissing you. Mandy, have I listed all the last lot? I have not. I have listed about 50 or 60 of the last lot, so certainly I've made a dent in it. It was right up to here, and you can't see now. There's just one sack left now. Um, obviously out of the six sacks it sounds great to say there's one sack but the one sack probably contains the contents of maybe two and a half sacks so i haven't done that well you know i've just i've just condensed it into one sack rather than having it all in smaller sacks but i have listed a lot of it and it's starting to sell and it's going to be great like i said i've got plenty to list all winter now haven't i nothing to worry about when it comes to listing clothes this winter apart from actually doing the work and that weed i needed so urgently has gone away uh, will I list everything, even the unbranded? Probably not the unbranded. I'll probably bundle that, unless it's particularly beautiful. If it's a really beautiful and um, um, boff, come see concert. I'll boff, yeah. Uh, if it's a particularly beautiful unbranded thing, then I will. Do we want another sack? Hi, Sam. Do you want another sack? Yes or no? Natalie, can you come and talk to the people while I go to the loo? Natalie's going to come and make faces at you while I go to the loo, just so that it's not dead air time. But don't ask her any secrets about me, because she'll tell you. I will. And I'll know, because I'll I'll look back and then I'll be, yeah. I'll I shouldn't have told you that, because now you're going to ask all kinds of secrets, aren't you? Yeah, can you entertain... Who's in? Um, loads of people. I don't know any of them. Lex is there. Mel from Sparrow's End is there. Hi, people. Mandy Dalkin, who sent me my, uh, my uh, November Advent calendar, is there. Loads of people there. Oh, a question for me. Mum's maiden name, this is really boring. Hi, people. Is Jenkins. <laughs> Mum's never got married. So, yeah, she's never got married. She isn't cool enough. Whoa, these comments are going to... Mum's worst habit. Um, worst habit. I would have to say snoring really loudly and waking herself up. A hearty amount of Jolly Ranchers. That's exciting. What have you done today? Carla's done a live stream. Show. Yep, she did show everyone her sacks. Hi, everyone. First line of mum's address is usually at the computer. She doesn't really do anything else. Her favourite colour, I'm not 100% sure. It was pink. First pet name. Again, I'm not sure because that was before I was born. And I don't know anything about cards, but it's silver. Bacon. Hi, Polly. Bacon. Hello, people. Thank you. My jumper is from H&M. It was like £4. The worst fashion choice that she's ever made. Right. She went through a period of wearing what she described as house trousers. And these were kind of like loose, almost like jogging bottom things that she only wore in the house. And then she wore what we referred to as spacks, which are like, you know, those school shoes a small child has with like the Velcro strap so their foot doesn't fall out when they're walking. It was basically those. And so she had said house trousers and a pair of what we referred to as spacks. And she started wearing them out in public together. And that was probably the worst thing ever. Not even just fashion choice, just the worst thing. 
Who does she bank with? Um, I don't know. How much of her merch is stolen? Um, well, some of it's stolen from me. She quite often comes into my bedroom and sees things that she could sell. Um, her favourite child is definitely me. <laughs> definitely. Um, on the basis that the other one's just not very nice. Yeah, house trials are as they were an actual thing. Mum's favourite bank. Um, <laughs> if there was one made out of, like, probably Reese's, I imagine that would be her favourite. Mum's favourite what? It, no, it definitely wasn't just to embarrass me. She embarrassed herself. What? I've been asked about your worst fashion disaster. Oh, Christ. So I guess what house trials are as facts. I, I just told the internet <laughs> about them. I knew you would. You're Thank right. you, Pippa. I bought it because it was cheap. Um, one in Westbury. I don't. I, I don't go with her. I try not to. I should not have let you talk to the people. Um, the people are lovely. Just for the record. I know the people are lovely. It's you that is. No, it? loving it. I didn't say they were lovely. I'm sure they're lovely. I'm sure you're lovely people. That's it. You've been taken over. Can I have my channel back? No. Oh. <laughs> Question, how much bacon did you eat in Turkey? I ate bacon every day. Uh, she doesn't go on and on about how amazing Anna is. I've heard her. I've met her. I'm here. Um, There's doing? nothing to fear. No, like, they weren't even pajamas. Flipping fantastic finds, whoever this is. Hi. They That's weren't Kelly. pajamas. What do you mean, whoever this is? It's Kelly. How can you not know shit? Okay, I'm sorry, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. No, they weren't pajamas. They were bad trousers to wear outside, although they shouldn't have been. They were just jersey trousers with an elasticated waist for the plump of figure. They were house trousers, except that you wore them out of the house. I started off only wearing them. Hi, baby. Do you want to come be on YouTube? Come on then. Up. Up. Look. My channel's gone. My channel's been taken over. Look, this is your fans. Question for Natalie Can you stay on? On what? The <laughs> chair? The right. earth? The floor? Where are we going with this? Thanks, people. Look. Where was I? I bet that was Sid. Look. Um, that was. I've lost it. It was Sid. It's always Sid. Sid doesn't love me. Is Electronic Firing Squad Brian? Yes. Can you we tell? did. <laughs> we did once sit on the phone for like an hour. Did she ever wear slippers with the house trousers? She didn't wear slippers out of the house, but I think You've that's... have got to have some standards. But I think that's only because... She, <clears throat> the slippers she used to have, she couldn't wear down the stairs because they were too big and she tripped. <laughs> Are you quite finished? Someone says they love a... Comp Who farts the loudest? Mum. I don't fart. Mother. I don't fart. You've woken me up with your fart before now. <laughs> can you get off my channel? Did you bring me a bear? Is that just... No, it's not for me. Great. Can I get... Can you get off my channel? Hi, can I have this? Okay, I've been told to go away. <laughs> Basically. Right, I think that's all the questions anyway. Yeah. Do you want them back? 2767. What's that? You're giving people your pin number? No, the last four digits of your credit card. <laughs> Bye guys. Come on. Come on, Kai. They don't want us anymore. Yeah, we we I know. Devastated. Tell them you love them. I love you. Woo -woo. Oh. Good boy. Get your bag up. <laughs> Come on, clever Kai. Get out of the way. Yeah. Kai, that's a bag of stuff waiting to go in the loft, mate, and you just kicked it all over the floor. <laughs> Damn dog reversing into things. Oh, Hello. Bit upset that you like her more than me, to be honest. What have you done to my chair? I Go away. Really <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. Why has it gone all low? That's, that's, that's how it was when I sat on it. She made my chair go all low. I did not. What do you mean, thank you for the break from Carlo? I'm very upset. Oh, how tired. Really upset. I might cry. I'm going to have to read back as well <laughs> and, and find out what she's been telling you people. Everything. Everything? Everything. I told him about you snoring yourself away because that's what your worst habit is. Well, do you want any more sacks or shall I just go away and let you chat to nap, chat to nap some more? Have you come back too? Good boy. I've been streaming for <laughs> an hour. I've still got two sacks. Hello, it. baby. You are such a good You are. You're you the best YouTube YouTube ever. Are you on YouTube? Are you on YouTube? You want a channel? You want a channel? You want a channel? Yeah. channel? Yeah. You've got a woo channel woo. and a toothbrush, yeah? Lovely. Woo woo woo. Yeah. Okay. Carmen's getting a ham and cheese toasty, mate. I love you. More sacks. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> Chester is okay. My God, my girls get more love than me too. Jay, Josh is an hour, and I've only done three oh, listings. Well, Come on, Josh. 
Oh, is this your burr? Which one is it? It's Kiki's burr. It's called Bernice. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's this hashtag? Hashtag Snapchat. <laughs> That's it. You can have a channel and call it Nap Chat. <laughs> okay. This is Austin really not spilling my deepest and darkest secrets. Mike's graphic says more sacks, but not on more often. Aww, you are proper, 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 proper popular. I can't say popular. When do I get friends? When do you get make friends first. When do you get? You have to make friends before you get any friend mail. I get friend mail because I'm nice. Can I get, You've sat here and been vile for ten mail? minutes. Fiend mail. That's what we would like some fiend mail, people. <laughs> oh, question for Natalie: Burger King or McDonald's or KFC? Um, either KFC or McDonald's, depending on the day. KFC or McDonald's, depending on the day. McDonald's is probably an outright winner, but sometimes it just don't cut. Can you hear that? McDonald's outright winner, but sometimes it just don't cut. And good evening, Dave by Glamour. Josh only has two more things to list, hoping to get more stock at the car boot. Josh, if you want some of this, believe me, mate, there's going to be some spare. Austin Reed suit jacket. I think it's a ladies. Can you set a challenge for somebody on my channel? Yeah, I need a volunteer. Ask for a volunteer. Natalie wants to set a challenge for one of you, but she needs a volunteer. This is the skirt that goes with the suit, which implies it's more definitely a ladies. I mean, it could be a gentleman's. I've said this before. I don't know why I assume that things that, like, that look lady like are ladies. Sandwich. Sandwich is a brand I struggle with, but this is a heavyweight cotton dress. So might do better with that than usual. Um, Sib's trying to volunteer DDG. I don't think you can volunteer somebody else. No, no. You have Lil to Lanth is nominating yourself. Lex. You have to volunteer yourself. You have to volunteer, volunteer yourself for whatever it is that Natalie's got up her sleeve for you. Oh, look at this Christmas party dress from Axe. Oh, that's Axe cute. Paris. That is cute. That is nice. However, it's I love you. Very small. I love you very much, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you are not that narrow. <laughs> Lex has volunteered. <laughs> I'm really not that narrow. <laughs> You're really not that narrow, are you? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Perhaps not. Okay, okay Lex right. has volunteered for whatever the challenge is. Challenge is one pound. One pound. I want you to buy the craziest thing you can with a pound. And send it to me. Natalie I'll, I'll cover the pound. Lex, Natalie wants you to buy the craziest thing you can find for a pound and send it to her. She will cover the pound, she says. Please don't send anything like, like rotten in the post. Please don't send anything that's going to get like the police to my door. Please, you know. Or nothing that my dog might break into an eat. <laughs> Please don't send anything the dogs might eat and die. Yeah. <laughs> H&M brown velour jacket. I don't know why you would, but if then you might, me and Mum will come back and do a video on what. Brown velour label. Yeah. There you go. That's your challenge, Lex. Lex says, "Have you met me? Everything I buy is crazy." Oh, and Carmen says, "Well, I think we should all do that. You're all welcome to send Natalie crazy stuff, but again, please, nothing rotting, nothing illegal. Just go careful. Nothing I she can I'm kill me with. And I'm poor, <laughs> so please don't run me up like a four hundred pound bill by so many people sending me things that cost a pound. <laughs> <laughs> this is rice or Reese. I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. That's quite That's nice. Cool. Tuxedo jacket. I think. Did you say Shelster does well with those? Well, I do need to go and Somebody said <laughs> somebody does well with. I might have been Heather. I don't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Oasis again. I'm not sure which Oasis member it is, but whichever one it is, they wear a long black frock. Um, yes, Beanie. Can we show them the present? Can we show them your present? Yes, come on then. We got Natalie something while we were at the charity shop as well. <laughs> Saw something that I just knew she would like. Wait, I've got to put my hands in. Thanks, Brian. Don't send her that. What is it? Granny porn. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad porn, if anything, Brian. Really for God's sake, we're not gay. I didn't realise it I had poor hands. They can't see you. I know, but look at it. Although this moves. No, you're too close. No. Back away. Back you're, away. You're too close, woman. Are you coming? I was trying to point it at you. you. <laughs> it is a lion blanket with a lion hand, a head, and paws. I'm it was four bitches. pounds. <laughs> You swore on my channel. No, I didn't. And I've already said bullshit four times. Hi, Joan. <laughs> uh, Dave by Glamour says, <laughs> I'm out because I use euros, so one pound is like one pound twenty something. It's like one euro twenty something. That's frankly a rip off. Go for a euro. Go for a euro. <laughs> and Fun Stuff 24 says, oh my God, I caught a live stream. You may regret <laughs> that, love, when you see what it's like. <laughs> 
Slim yeah. fit by next tuxedo style jacket again. Who is it who does well with the tuxedos? Jared says, does it pay well, this porn? Well, apparently Sib buys a lot of it, so he's the one... Oh, no, sorry, not Sib, I beg your pardon. Brian buys a lot of it. It's him you want to talk. Whoa, to. my mane is majestic. Remember when Prue Leaf replaced Mary Berry and it all turned out okay? Well, Carla went on a pee break and that came along. We found out Carla farts the loudest. <laughs> it's true, you do. She thinks she doesn't fart. I know, I've never said that I don't fart. You have. You have I said haven't. it many times. I said I presume I, I fart like I don't know what in the night because I don't really fart during the day. I presume I must fart sometimes. Right, go away. I'm trying to do a serious professional reseller live stream. Would you talk to Aslan like that? No. Yes, yes I would. I don't care about Aslan. Dogs are going crazy. Go shut the dogs up. Boys! That's not shutting them up, that's joining in. Come on, boys! Dear Thank God, you. right. <laughs> so says, then that started to start a pound challenge, he's going to catch back 500 quid. <laughs> Please don't send loads of shit. New look, frayed, tatty, hem, tweed jacket thing. Phoebe's off. Have a lovely weekend, Phoebe. Tat Dog says, I love the way you say fart, it makes me laugh. How do other people say fart? Fart. 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 <laughs> Mom, can you put a little popper on it? <laughs> put a little popper on it if you want, yeah. <laughs> She's just, you can see her, I just realise you, they can't see her in the doorway. Okay. Because I moved the camera, they can see the doorway. I need a little popper. <laughs> Red Riding Aslan. <laughs> Red Riding Aslan? Yeah, man. Well, bra murky brown poo coloured Riding Aslan. Get out of my stream. I should never have invited her in. It's all gone horribly wrong. Send help. Don't send nudes. Do you actually want me to go? <laughs> yes. You lying? <laughs> I'm not lying. I generally want you to go. <laughs> it's all gone horribly wrong. Stop coming back into shot. And remember, if you come out of there naked, people can see you. It's got a tail as well. Does it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this is Marks and Spencer. It's kind of a coral, kind of pinky, unpleasant kind of thing. I don't even, I don't like it. Get out of shot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't like it anymore. Banana Republic, unpleasant little jackety thing. Who designs this stuff? When's Lex coming to stay again? I don't know when Lex is coming to stay again. <laughs> Soon, I hope. <laughs> Brian says, and in his undies, not in a costume. These kids are out of control. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm living with this. <laughs> Joe says it's more fun than doing her accounts. Uh, CC, uh, country casuals, really heavy tweed wool skirt, pleaty, pleaty tweed wool skirt thing. I'm sure somebody will love it. God, that's really heavy. This is winter stuff again now. Lex says, stay, I'm moving in. <laughs> Josh says, what I wonder is how doesn't this stuff sell in the charity shop? It all seems like, okay, it's a really small shop, Josh. I don't know if you've been to Stoke Bishop. It's a little shop. They only have like four or five rails of clothing max. She doesn't like to overfill her rails. Like I said, there's only two shops in the area, so she gets a lot of nice donations and she likes to keep her stock moving. You know, you go to some shops and there'll be stuff on the rails, and it's the same stuff you've seen weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And this shop is not like that. She likes to rotate stuff and get it off and keep it, keep it moving. Eva Kavan. I've never heard of Eva Kavan, but apparently she makes little denim skirts. So I'll look her up. Karin's gone, I think. Karin was doing my looking up, but she's gone off to eat her cheese toasty. Brian's stopping by during her next stop, during his next Stockholm business trip, since we're only 10 minutes away. Told you. Sweden, my house, very short journey. 10 minutes max. Yeah, now it says you're doing six if you don't mess about it, yeah. Authentic. I feel like that's Matalan. I feel, but it is needle cord. So normally I would go Matalan, meh, but it's BHS. But yeah, normally that's that's needle cord. And I say needle cord. Needle cord is this season's fabric. Yeah, that's right, Josh, yeah. Uh, MS collection again with the unpleasant fabrics and the unpleasant colours. They went. They, they must have gone a bit astray somewhere, mustn't they? MS collection. And Mark's a Spencer ordinary skirt there, and a Tweedy number. Karen, what was it? I've gone past it so long ago, I can't remember what it was. 
<laughs> uh, oh, Laura Ashley, a Laura Ashley tweed kilt skirt. Now that that'll get there'll be money in that. Oh, the denim skirt, yeah. Eva, E V A. It's all going to fall. It's all going. Eva Cavan, E V A, Eva Cavan, K A V A N. Unless that's a Y, it might be Cayenne. If you don't get any results under V, you look under Y. <laughs> ah! Not bad. <laughs> I don't like this child. I bet she told you she's the favourite. Favorite. I don't like her. She's not very nice. And the last one out of this bag is another little kilt. And this one is JFW. I feel like I know what JFW is, but I can't think what it is. JFW. JFW, people. JFW is short for something, isn't it? I'm always thinking FW and Fenwick Manson. JFW kilt. I'm sure kilts are in. Brian, you did not drop something on your foot again. What you need to do, mate, is wear shoes. I know you're like the barefoot king, but if you're going to continue to mangle your feet in this way, shoes might be the way forward. Oh, there goes the pile. <laughs> yeah, I dropped the piles on the floor. The piles are now lower than they were a minute ago. Don't step in for me piles. Right. Oh, can you stop that horrible cough? Sure, she's doing it on purpose. Julie's fun wear. I think you made that up, Brian. You strike me as a bit of a fibber. Oh, it's Cayenne and about twenty quid. Oh, nice. JFW just for women, maybe. 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 Right. So there's only one more sack. Do you want another sack? I don't mind either way. I can open the other sack and go through it with you, or we can ignore the other sack and deal, sack and deal with it another time. I'll undo the knot while you're deciding. <sighs> Josh says, let's have the last sack. And here's ads. Hi, ads. <sighs> sack, sack, sack. Sack, sack, sack. Yes, last sack. One more sack. Okay, this is the last sack. Ads, I've got hats. I know you like hats. Do you want this one, mate? A great hat alternatively if you don't like that one it also comes in blue maybe you don't want those hats <laughs> might as well have the last sack waiting for amazon and researching <laughs> oh okay dave's off bye dave oh yeah it's the friday night chin we're gonna i might be hiring for that i might not pair of fat face jeans seven pounds they were marked out in the shop so bear in mind i've got the entire sack for 750 can't be bad fat face jeans don't like listing trousers, or more to the point, don't like photographing trousers. I find them a, a knob cheese to photograph. Pair of regatta trousers, brand new with their tags. God knows, they're size 12. They, they went down to 12.99 in macro. I don't know how much they would have been for regatta in the first place. I never buy random regatta trousers. Carrie says, maybe I could get a job looking up solds for other resellers. Maybe you could, love. £5 for those regatta trues. Uh, <laughs> Josh is laughing about knob cheese. Sorry, it's my insult of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Fat face is high, high, high street. I don't think the other one is, Tart Doctor. Ads, it's not a secret. I'm getting it from a charity shop down the road. I had a chat with the lady one day about the fact that I'm reseller and I'd be interested in the stuff that she's taking off of the shop floor. I asked her what she does with it and she says normally we send it on to another shop. And at the time, I said, okay, no problem. I would have been interested in buying it, but that's fine. And several months later, I was in the shop and she approached me and said, are you still interested? And I said, well, yes, obviously. So these are the unsolds from the shop floor, which means it's already pre-sorted. I'm not getting rags, not getting anything unsaleable. I'm not getting anything in poor condition. It's pre-sorted. It's been on the shop floor and come back off again, which is a win-win for me. And these are Nicole Fai. Nicole Fai trousers. This is a good sack. This is a happy sack. Karen won't be in the chin mag. She's having a movie night. What are you going to watch, Karen? So, I love the way you ask a question, then you wait for Karen to answer. Marks and Spencer's trousers. I don't like listing. I was just saying, was I don't like listing trousers because I find them difficult to photograph, mainly because my photographing area is not 
a large spot, you know. So Hillary Radley. Now, obviously Radley Bags, I know, but I don't know if Hillary Radley. Hillary Radley apparently designed Royal Blue Trousers, but I don't know her. She's not in my immediate circle of friends. She might be if her trousers sell for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, quality broadcast indeed, Joan. Land's End, again, not a brand I've ever bought or sold, but we'll give them a crack. Another Land's End pair. I won't bother unfolding those, though. Same as the others, but blue. Might sell those as a pair. If Land's End doesn't have a lot of resale value on its own, might sell those as a pair. Gap, curvy, 30 long. This might be all trousers in here. This might be a trouser bag, which means I definitely do not have the missing shoes. I will pop back to the lady and ask her if she's got them lurking somewhere. It'd be a shame if she hasn't, because like I said, they the missing ones are five, well, four out of five are very good brands. I would have been really, really chuffed to have. Coast. A pair of Coast wide leg white trousers. They feel quite nice. They are 81% triacetate. Lovely fabric. 19% polyester. Nice pair of triacetate fabric trousers. I might not put triacetate in, this, in as a keyword, eh? Not sure that's a huge, hugely researched keyword. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. I've heard it's good. I've never seen it. Brian's Nude Listing Adventure. That's my resale YouTube channel. Looking forward to checking that out, Brian. Wallace. Pair of Wallace straight leg trousers. These are for the more, I would say for the more mature lady. Because I don't know many young ladies who wander around in brown trousers. And Planet. That's slightly younger. That's kind of a tweedy look trouser. A trouser. We're nearly done. We're nearly done and you good people can go off and eat your dinner soon. What's everybody having? I know Carmen's had a cheese and ham toasty. I mean, I caught that bit early on. Bieber. A happy sack. Beaver trousers. I do like a nice happy sack. When you think £7.50 sack, six sacks, the shoe sack alone had 17 pairs of shoes, all with a minimum resale value of £10 a pair. This is, there is definitely money here. It's just it's a shame that it also represents a lot of work because I don't like work. Annette says, I've been to the dentist to come back and you're still going. There was a break in the middle one that, like, manhandled my channel around a bit. Jigsaw trousers. Not, not I mean, like, they're not in pieces. I haven't got to put them together myself. Jigsaw the brand. Claire's having mince and pasta. Little Nouse having steak, new potatoes and mushrooms. I might go around Little Nouse. Uh, Daisy Mays have chicken and mushroom bake. Lex is having a beefy casserole thing. Ads wants to go nude on YouTube. It's not what I want for my dinner, though, Nads. 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 <laughs> that should be. <laughs> okay, so I know you've got ads and bads. If you're going to go nude, then I think that bloke ought to be called Nads. <laughs> Jobies. Jobis? Jobies? Anyone? I don't know that one. They feel really good quality. They do feel like a quality true. Karen had chicken, pie, mash and gravy at lunchtime. I had a jacket potato at Costco. Yep. <laughs> uh, Brian's having pizza. We've got a massive Costco pizza in the kitchen. <coughs> and that's having a micro meal. It is Waitrose though. So, you know, she's not, she's not going down, hit, down, down market. Marks and Spencer trouser. They've got quite a nice waistband. It's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Fish and chips for Claire. Claire's on the Friday fish. Last one, last pair of trousers from the Happy Sacks, Topshop. Topshop bootleg, short, short, short leg boot cut, zip pocket, Lagen look, boho, festival chic, blogger trend. None of those things. That's it. I don't think I've had a sale. I certainly haven't had a ka-ching, but I haven't moved my phone. This new phone doesn't ka-ching until I move it. So if I move it, maybe we'll have reason to be in luck. No, nothing. Not a ka-ching. Not a sale. I am unloved. Very much unloved. Oh, oh, there's a bit of... No, that's a message tone. Oh, dear, it's a message. Nobody likes a message. Oh, it's just the lady who sent me a, a payment yesterday. Came in by each. I've got an offer. Came in by e-check and she had no idea how she'd managed to do that. So I sent her the link explaining why that happened and she's dealt with it now. 
So I do. There's the kaching. The kaching is for the offer. Shall I expect the expect? Shall I accept the offer? Okay. Sorry, I've ignored the chat. Um, Brian's had no sales. Thanks for nothing. Fun stuff. I've yet to find good fish and chips in the US. Girly Willy, how much are massive Costco pizzas? How much is the the Costco pizza? Nat? Nine pounds. Nine pounds. They are huge. They're like cartwheel size. Eighteen inch. Eighteen inch. There we go. Eighteen inches for nine quid. And yes, I will accept this offer. There we go, because I do believe that accepting offers hopefully gets your channel moving a bit. So there should be another kaching shortly. There we go. I've sold something. Better than a poke in the eye of the shop stick. I've also put everything in my shop on 20% discount this weekend because I just want to get some stock shift in and get some money coming in. So if you've ever seen anything in my shop that you like, go and buy it now. Because <laughs> it's 20% off. There we go. There's the kaching. There we go. There we go. Yeah, nine pound for an eighteen inch pizza. There, there. Yeah, that is that is very cheap. Domino's is so expensive. I like a Domino's meteor though. I do like a meteor. So, yeah, no. So five odd shoes which need investigating further. I should have to pop in. It's a shame. Like I said, those are Clark's narrative. Those are only new look, but they're a nice burgundy suede, which would have been a good Christmas party shoe. Two of these are hotter. I'm going to have to pop back in and see if she's got the other ones. That's what I'm going to have to do. What a shame. Okay, fun stuff needs some ka-chings. Good. I hope, hope everybody gets lots of ka-chings. I'm going to go. It's been over well over an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm going to go and, and let you guys... Um, have enjoy your Friday evenings. Thank you for joining me while I rummaged in my sacks. I didn't expect it to be this long. I thought I'd just do the shoes and go. But you know, thank you for um thank you for entertaining Natalie, who's had a delightful evening at my expense. I'm gonna read back and I'm gonna go back and see what she said about me. Everybody have a great weekend. I will see you Sunday, although I need to be somewhere else at 12 on Sunday. So I don't know whether I might come on earlier and do a short one or what. I don't I don't know what to expect Sunday. I just need to I need to be somewhere else by 12. So, everybody have a good weekend. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Do I really want to end my stream? Yes. <laughs>